Six minutes. Oh, we'll see how it goes. Brian, how did the discovery of the Beatles come about? How did they enter into your life? I heard about them through uh, a lad who was asking for a record by them in one of my stores, or my family's stores, in October 1961. And uh, I took up this matter to find out whether they had, in fact, recorded anything. And in the course of this, I found out that they were a Liverpool group that I had actually heard of. Um, some time before, and I went down to see them uh, in Liverpool at the Cavern Club, and it was there that I uh, first saw them. Were they Cavern. essentially the same group then as they are now? Uh, in personnel. By that I mean in appearance and uh, as well, far as the musical standpoint was concerned. I suppose that they did look a bit different. The pictures show today, I suppose, quite a marked difference. The reason I ask that is. Uh, uh, I was wondering if you had anything to do with that appearance. Not um, particularly uh, objectively, but uh, obviously, um, it, it is a very difficult thing. I, I hate saying that I had anything to do with it because uh, they created what they look like today. There's no question about it. Well, what about build-up, though? Well, I did everything that I could. Um, you know, everything shouted from the rooftops. But what was involved there? Was there any one key that, uh, you know, opened the door to this tremendous success they now enjoy? Not any one key, but um, a lot of things. Now, I believe that any success, uh, solid success, is contributed to by many factors, not one single thing. You know, the Beatles aren't the Beatles either because it's their name or because it's their haircuts. Um, or any one, some factors are more important than others. But everything has contributed, I think, uh, with a lot of luck that we've had um, to make them the success that they are. Well, now, here in the United States, uh, we hear that Ed Sullivan was primarily responsible for their exposure, their main exposure, as far as the US public was concerned. Well, um, I wouldn't say that this was entirely true. By the time uh, that he booked the Beatles, um, with me in November 1964, when I was actually over here with one of my own artists, Billy J. Kramer. And um, November 63, I should say. And he booked them uh, because he had seen big scenes at London Airport and he thought, well, there must be something here. Mm -hmm. This is prim primarily why he booked them. Um, in actual fact, I had to fight with them to get them to uh, give them top billing on the show, which they eventually agreed to do after a lot of uh, argument. And uh, they weren't very big in the States at that time, but when they eventually did come here in February, this, earlier this year, uh, they had a number one hit record, and they also had a lot of other records right up in the charts, so that the, the, the moment for the, those television programs was superb in that it was just right. And, um, you know, I'm, our relationship with Sullivan is great, and I hope that the boys will be able to appear on the show again. So you mentioned uh, like Billy J. Kramer a moment ago. Yes. Were there other stars that we're responsible for, too? Yes, uh, Jerry and the Pacemakers, who's quite, who are quite well known here, and um, Scylla Black, who's just beginning to get quite uh, known record-wise. Um, in fact, Billy J. Kramer have both, uh, and Jerry, have both been here separately before, and they're coming back in the fall, in October, to do a tour of the country together. There's never been anything quite like the success of the Beatles. How long do you think it will last? Well, this is impossible to say. Um, and it also depends what you term success. Uh, I think they're going to be successful, in my estimation, and a lot of other people's estimation, for many, many years. But uh, obviously, it won't be the same kind of success. It's obviously going to what be a matured kind of success. Do you have any rough estimate of, of how much money the Beatles have made so far? No, it's impossible to say. And I wouldn't anyway. I don't, I, you know, I, uh, it's not nearly as much as has been exaggeratedly reported. And um, I don't think that it's a thing which the Beatles or I, you know, I don't really think that it should be the public's concern. Now, following this U.S. tour, will you be coming back to the United States? 
Uh, me personally. I mean the Beatles. Uh, the Beatles, uh, I hope, will come back uh, to the States, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, but they wouldn't actually, I don't think they'd take on again as long a tour as this. Um, but certainly, uh, I'm coming back actually with Jerry and Billy later this year. Are there any other plans for the Beatles movies? Albums? Yes, they start work on their second film in February uh, next year. Fine, thank you. Thank you.